Okay, so what's up guys, it's your boy motherfucking hacker. Andrew here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass the 2.02 update that Netflix has just released. Now, there hasn't been any new features in this update, but they basically did enable the 3.56 checker. Um, so if your PS3 is not on 3.56 firmware, Netflix will not run on it. Um, so this is pretty gay. Now, for the following people um, that updated to the 2.02, don't worry, you're not in trouble. Um, you can still downgrade back and bypass the 2.02 Netflix uh, upgrade or the uh, update, I should say, and uh, get back on Netflix at 3.55. <clears throat> so before we get started, you guys can see on my PS3, it's telling me that I'm on 3.55 and that I need a 3.56 installed. So I'm going to go ahead and quit to the main menu by pressing circle since I can't quit by the PlayStation button. Um, so yeah, anybody. Um, anyway, anybody that updated, um, or if you don't know what version you're on, you can simply uh, find that by going to the video category and pressing triangle on Netflix, hitting information. And you can see that the update is 2.02. .02. So what you need to do for this is go ahead and press triangle and delete it. Don't worry about it. The application is still going to be there. Um, so, yeah. With that said, there is Netflix, but um, Netflix is still not deleted. We have to completely delete the 2.02 .02 and all the information that's gathered with it. So go ahead and go to your game category. Go up to game data utility and go to Netflix and press triangle and delete it. Um, after it's deleted, we have uh, successfully deleted everything that's Netflix-wise on your PS3. It has been completely removed. So with that said, you want to go ahead and launch Netflix, and we're going to go ahead and install the 2.01 update, which is the, um, the package software that's like uh, all the software that the application needs since um, the CD is no longer required. Since they stopped using that CD about a month ago, a month ago or two, um, they just basically run off of the app. And for the Nintendo Wii and 360, they have, you know, the apps running now. There's no more CDs. <clears throat> so we're going to go and wait for this to load, um, 2.01. And there it is. We're going to go ahead and install it there. And it should kick you back out to the XMB and then auto start. So when the 2.02 .02 update comes up, just go ahead and ignore it. It's not important. Um, and just wait for that to download. So with that said, um, once that thing comes up and you see the 2.02 .02 update, just go ahead and press the PlayStation button and quit back to the main menu. And then on your computer, um, go, to, go ahead and hit the bottom of the uh, <clears throat> the subscribe or the bottom of the uh, comment box. Um, I will provide a link for you guys at the bottom description. I should say I'm over here fucking up. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, at the bottom of the description, there'll be a link to an SFO editor. Um, and you guys can see that right there. It's just a pretty simple EXE. Um, on your PS3, you want to go ahead and connect to your FTP. Um, go ahead and open that. And your ed SFO editor, go ahead and drag it to your Windows. Um, and your computer, you want to go ahead and connect it through the FTP with the PS3. So go ahead and do that now. And once your uh, computer is connected to your PS3 through FTP, go ahead and proceed over to HDDO. Go to Game. And then go to NPUP triple O thirty you're gonna go ahead and download that folder to your desktop <clears throat> so just bear with that download the first one which is the NPUP triple O thirty um, you're also gonna to have to download the uh, NPUP triple O thirty cache or cache whatever the fuck you want to pronounce it or say it <clears throat> but the first folder should be around fifty mini files just bear with it be patient don't download uh, one after the other just you know finish first one and then proceed to the next one so there's the first one we're gonna go ahead and download the cache now and that's there. So minimize the FileZilla, don't close it. Go ahead and open up Finder. I'm going to find my folders and pop. And there it is. There are my folders. And we're going to go ahead and drag these over to my Windows. Um, if you're on a Windows right now, don't worry about it. This is just my virtual um, program that I need. So there it is. There are my folders. Drag it to your Windows. Put these here. Um, and open up your SFO editor. Just click the first two screens, skip these, um, and you're going to hit the load button. You're going to locate your application or your folders on desktop and pub 30. We're going to start with this one. Open that, and we're going to hit the param SFO. And you guys can see that the app version on the uh, middle left-hand side is going to say 02.01. .01. Go ahead and click on it and delete the one and make it 02.02. .02. And then you're going to hit save. You're going to hit desktop. You're going to find the original. And then you're going to overwrite the uh, SFO. Make sure that you overwrite or replace the original one. Do not save it as it is. Make sure that it, it, um, it re completely replaces the original one. Once that's done, you want to close and reopen the SFO editor. Um, click OK. Pass the first two screens. And we're going to go ahead and load the cache now. So go to Desktop. Um, 
and pump triple O thirty cache. Open that and then open the param SFO. We're going to change the app version from zero one point oh oh to zero two point oh oh. So go ahead and delete the one, make it a two, and we're going to hit save and we're going to desktop and pump thirty cache and we're going to replace the original param SFO. We're going to hit save, yes. Then we're going to go ahead and close that, come back to our desktop. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my flash drive. Um, because I have to transfer these folders back over to my Mac side. So just bear with me while I do this real quick. And you want to go ahead and open up your flash drive, or my, I'm going to go ahead and open up my flash drive and transfer these files there. Um, just skip this part, it's not important. <clears throat> anyway, um, once you have your files back on your desktop, you edited them, um, you're going to go ahead and open up your FileZilla again. Move your folders to the right um, and open up FileZilla. And you're just going to go ahead and copy both of these back into the, the, the game directory. So drag and drop. And you want to go ahead and replace these files with the old ones. Just give it a couple seconds. Um, if for some reason you close your files, the, the correct directory to place those files is in the dev underscore hddo slash game. Once your things have completely um, transferred over, we're just going to go ahead and be patient with this real quick. Um, and let these transfer. So there it is, completely transferred. You want to go ahead and close your files. I'm just going to keep mine open because um, we're going to have to come back to it. So we're going to go ahead and quit back to the main menu. And we're going to wait for this to load. And then we're going to go to the video category. We're going to go to the Netflix application and we're going to check the firmware. You press triangle, you go to information, you guys are going to see that we're still on 2.01. Do not panic, it's okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and launch Netflix now. It is a, it'll still give us a 2.02 update, we're just going to ignore it. It's not important, but this process is necessary um, in order to trick it and corrupt the data. So there it is, you guys can see that the update 2.02 is still needed. We're going to press the PlayStation button, we're going to quit back to the main menu, and we're going to connect to the FTP. So since Netflix read it, we're okay, we're in the green and we can proceed to step number two, which is deleting the SFO. So we're going to go ahead and wait for this to load. Um, then you want to go ahead and uh, scroll down here to your FTP. And this is where the cool part happens. So we're going to go ahead and come back over here. We're going to go ahead and connect to our PS3 again. And we're going to wait for this to load. So give me a second. There it is. We're going to go ahead and connect to the PS3 again. And now we're going to go over to HDDO, Game. And we're going to come down here to the uh, MP, NPUP 0030 cache. You're going to open that folder and you're going to right click on the Param SFO and delete it. So make sure that you delete the Param SFO from the cache folder, not the original one. Once that's done, you can go ahead and close FileZilla. You can go ahead and close out of your FTP. Go ahead and quit out of that. <clears throat> And this is where the cool part happens. So there it is. We're going to go and wait for this to load. And we're going to go over to the video category. We're going to go ahead and check on the Netflix application. We're going to press triangle on it. And we're going to go to information. And we're going to go ahead and see that it's now on 2.02, .02, tricked and bypassed. Then you want to go ahead and launch Netflix. It should ask you if you are a member. You're going to sign in. I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get this under 10 minutes. I'm um, going to show you guys that it's actually working with videos. So go ahead and so you guys can see the loading screen there. Um, if I put the camera down, I have under a minute now. It's already at nine minutes, so I have to quickly type in my info. Um, so there it is. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and sign in now. Alright, after you are signed in, go ahead and uh, press X to save your info. It'll ask you to sign in and it'll connect you online to the movies. So I hope this helps. You guys can see that I'm still online. Um, uh, 4.59 in the morning, I'm still online. 3.11.2011. Um, you know, Netflix is still running for me and it's still working. So it is. Hopefully it's a load. There it is, guys. Netflix bypass. Leave me a comment.